This your youngest boy? You know, I don't want anything to happen to your children. Pull that rifle out of my window. You can have to be very strong, Mrs. Hartley. Understand? Welcome to paradise, Mr. Gribbs. Nice try, Pete. I see right through your scheme. I sign the big book, then one of your mooks runs out with a blackjack to brain me from behind. Then you get my bloops. Well... <laughs> Jocelyn, would it be too much to ask that you not do your nails while I lecture? Sorry. When are you done? <laughs> What's next? Will you take us to the pond, Grandpa? Please. Uh, to the spot that I used to go to when I was a kid? Yeah. You know it's haunted. Nuh-uh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the little Martingale boy in 1942, he drowned. Some people say that his spirit still lingers by the shore of the water. Really? Yeah, but if you still want to go, I'll take you. How could you lose her? You know, she and the daughter woman took off on us, sir. They took off on you. We, we went down there to question her about Hayes. I was down there by the car. He was supposed to wait for me. I knocked on the door. Dr. Kessler answered. Uh, that's when they bolted on us. We're tired of waiting. I want that horse tonight. That ought to work out just perfect. Foster's finally decided to destroy him. I hear you finally got your act together. You bring the dope. Be careful with this. Who do we have here? <laughs> you look like Santa Claus. Maybe I am. <laughs> Arms up. Is that arms up? Okay, he's not well. Yeah, I've had a cold myself. Arms up, pal. <laughs> All right, let's have the tote bag. No. Pete, give him the bag. No, I need some help here. Just give him the bag, no. Pete. Come on, come on let's have no. it. Let's let's no. Have it. Come, come on. on. Come on, please. Come on. No. no. Come on, you stuck up shit! 